Okay, drone video of uh, six acres, a little over six acres on the James River. That's Belford Road, and we're looking over the property toward the river. Uh, so 6.1 acres. This is the largest tract at James River Estates. A very small uh, little private development. There are only eight tracks out here. Gorgeous, gorgeous area. So as we back up here, if you look to the right, you can see uh, uh, the bridge over the James River. So if you're coming from Marshfield, you would cross that bridge, go up the little hill, uh, go a few hundred yards, and you'll see the property on the right. This is uh, Tract 7. It does have a gate. It's fenced and gated. has its own approach. When we were out there, the gate was functional. It, it's a nice newer gate, but it needs to be adjusted uh, before it falls off. And we've got, looks like T-posts along the boundaries, but I, I don't believe that there was any wire strung. So when we did this project originally, several people uh, uh, either leased or uh, bought multiple tracts and requested that we don't fence. So we put in the T-posts just to make the boundaries apparent, um, but they weren't fenced, so uh, you're welcome to do that. Okay, now as we fly toward the river, I'm trying to look at my map here. It uh, looks like it's about 100 feet wide um, where we are now, so easily wide enough to, to build whatever you like and still have a nice yard area. Um, the cool thing about this property is you've got two or three acres on this side of the river and then literally own the the entire river and going across and you've got two or three acres on the other side as well. Um, so there's the truck parked on the property near the river. This actually has a, a cool little uh, kind of a ramp area that's been uh, developed right down to a beautiful rock ledge on the river which you can see there. Um, and then as we look at that gravel bar and the timber and the meadow across that's part of the property as well. Um, so you'll want to look at the uh, at the interactive maps and whatnot to see just how that's situated, but I mean this is pretty unique. You've got, there you can see those cedar trees uh, and that, that little meadow right there. That's also part of the property. So just gorgeous. I had never seen that until we did this drone video. I knew it was over there and one of our guys had walked over there and told me it was really cool, but I had never seen it, so it was fun to take this drone video and actually see that. Now that, whoop, <laughs> well, we'll get back there. Holy cow. Make myself dizzy here. Sorry about that. So now we're looking uh, toward Belford Road. And I believe we're trying to back up here so we can uh, get a look at that, that open area on the other side. There we go. Uh, so there you can see the cedar trees. Uh, now the more clear meadow that you just see to the left, there's a fence line there, and that's, that's going to be just north of the property. But basically, the bulk of that smaller meadow you see right there, that's all, it looks to be all level uh, and on the property. And most of that, I believe, is going to be out of the flood zone. So, I mean, you've got high and dry building sites uh, on the other side and high and dry building sites on this side as well, which is pretty awesome. Um, so the, the uh, interesting thing would be if, if you wanted to build on, on this side, um, then you've either got to drive across the river, uh, you know, in a pickup truck, or do some kind of concrete low water bridge. Uh, so if you're going to build your year-round home, obviously you want to do it on the pasture side. And then if you want a cool little hunting cabin or getaway cabin or, or whatever, uh, you can't get much more private than this in that pasture right there. That's really, really unique. It would be a great place for a food plot. Uh, the deer would just love to come through that other meadow into this, this area and they're, you're fringed by the timber, so they're going to feel comfortable in there. Really cool. Yeah, when we were doing this video, since I had never laid eyes on this field, I was excited to, to try to get down low and look at it. And this obviously is a, a wintertime video. It's the middle of winter here uh, when, when this video was taken. So in the spring, in the summer, when the leaves are out, this is going to look um, quite a bit better. Uh, but shockingly, in the dead of winter, it looks pretty darn good, too, so that's that's a good thing. Yep, super private meadow on the James River. Wow. We're close to Springfield. We're very close to Marshfield. That particular bend in the river right there is a, a very good spot for fishing, or it has been. We've actually spent quite a bit of time out here since it's so close to the, uh, to the office. It's a fun place to come out and 
and hang out you know, in the afternoon, bring the kids. You can put in your uh, tube or your canoe or your kayak at that low water bridge, and then you can float right down to uh, to your own particular property. And it's a fun float for the for even little kids because it's just a short float. You don't have to worry about getting out on the river and you know them uh, losing interest after after an hour or two because it's just a ten or fifteen minute float, and then they get to to feel big like uh, like one of the big kids. Although it's good for big kids too that don't want a uh, two or three or four hour float. <laughs> That's kind of where I fall. Gorgeous, gorgeous property. Largest tract out here at James River Estates. Huge gravel bar. I mean, geez. If and when you do build or do some landscaping, I mean, you have virtually an unlimited supply of gravel uh, right at your disposal. So that's pretty cool. Definitely check out the listing. If this is available, then you'll see it at instantacres.com. We leave all the videos on YouTube because our buyers request that we do so so that they continue to, can continue to view them and share them with friends and family. Uh, so unfortunately, just because it's on YouTube doesn't mean it's available. But if you go to instantacres.com, that is where we keep all the current properties. And that's updated by the minute. There you can get a look at that rock ledge. That is a super cool rock ledge. I've never seen anything like it. Check the ground video to really see that, but it's pretty special. Look at that. So let us know if you have any questions at all. Um, we'd be happy to talk to you about this property if it's available or any other property. Um, we try to keep a good selection, but they, whoops, they do go quickly. So uh, send us a call or uh, shoot us a call or send us an email at sales at instantacres.com.